welcome back to my channel. I am Carrie of Beauty Mind Spirit and today I'm going to talk to you about the brand Circa Beauty which is found at Walgreens currently and I just have a few of their products to talk to you about today. I have their BB cream, their powder, and one of the lipsticks. So just a background, the philosophy of Circa Beauty is pretty cool. Um, on the website it just says that it's a portfolio of professional quality products traditionally found in the luxury market. The packaging in itself looks very luxurious. It has like black and gold and then black writing and it's just super sophisticated. It reminds me of like the earlier like 1900s, like maybe Gatsby era in terms of the packaging and it's just super, super fun. Very sleek, very professional looking, very luxurious looking. It says, with an extensive range of both trend and timeless shades, Circa products have been designed to work across the lightest and darkest of skin tones, making it the go-to brand for women of all ethnicities. So that's really, really cool because it's really hard, you know, to find a brand that can cover like an entire range that will be able to be suitable for everybody. And so this, you know, this one is like dedicated to do that, to try to provide more options and more availability for people who have like those tougher skin tones that are just you know, really hard to match and find. So I, I really think that that's great. So the creative director of this company is Eva Mendez, and um, she helps to provide the artist in us with all the tools we need to express our own creativity and individuality. And I love that line. I love when companies really want to promote like self-expression and just to commemorate beauty altogether and like the whole process of what that is, because really beauty is just self-expression. It's it's how we feel, it's how we like self-love ourselves and it's really great to be able to you know work with products and colors that are reliable and safe to use and, and we can just you know use them to accentuate ourselves to express ourselves. So there are a lot of different products I mean there's a whole range of products that you can get um, with this brand but I just wanted to start out with you know those three I talked about the BB cream, the, the powder and a lipstick. Okay, so the first product I'm going to talk about is the Color Balance BB Cream. So I have the color Light Medium, and this is a really nice shade for when I self tan, and it allows me to use it for up to three to four days after I have self tan. What it says is that it hydrates, primes, and camouflages for instantly brightened, even toned skin. It's lightweight, velvety, and oil free. It's a multifunctional beauty balm that leaves your face consistently camera ready. Oil controlling formula features optical pearl pigments for a natural luminous glow and it prevents shine without a chalky matte finish. I would definitely agree with those claims. So one thing I did notice about this is that yeah the consistency is thicker than most other BB creams I've tried. I also noticed that it did provide more coverage pretty much like a regular foundation would for me which really impressed me. The, the one that's I would say comparable in terms of coverage wise that I've tried would be the Physicians Formula CC Cream. I really, really like that one, and I noticed that it had the same kind of thick consistency, same kind of coverage technology that um, Circa has, and both of them are kind of priced around the same price point as well. Circa, this one retails for $14. You know, this brand is definitely more in the higher end part of the drugstore lines. It's pretty equivalent to like Sonia Kashuk or you know some of the other ones there. Now I have extremely oily skin. No matter what I use, I always have to use a primer in my T-zone area. Everything else in my outer perimeter of my face works so well and I can wear things on it for, you know, it doesn't really get oily there basically. And I noticed, you know, that this, you know, did, I did get some oil in my T-zone but that's not a surprise to me. I noticed that I was able to blot and it really just like took it away, it basically took the oil away, but it didn't take away the coverage. So I thought that was really, really cool, especially when you're working somewhere and you don't necessarily want to pile more powder on your face when you're out and about. It's nice to know that you can just, you know, blot your face and not have to worry about, you know, taking away some of that extra coverage and, you know, having to put more on. So, so I do really, really like this BB cream. The next thing that I tried after I put on my concealer was the Circa powder and I got the color Zero Two Light and this powder is absolutely stunning. It feels and acts like a very very high-end luxurious powder for sure. I was incredibly surprised with the way that it looked on my face and how smooth and um, blurring it was you know to imperfections, how it filled my pores and it just absolutely made my skin look flawless. Like I would love to take pictures 
with this stuff on because I feel like my pictures would come up really smooth for special events or any special occasions and stuff like that. So what the powder says on the website is achieve a perfectly even and natural complexion with a soft matte finish that is never cakey or drying. It's lightweight, non-chalky, and silky. This versatile foundation blends seamlessly with your natural skin tone for a flawless complexion. I definitely agree with that. I did notice that it also adds a touch more coverage. For those of you that are just looking for like something to throw on your purse and not really having like a lot of foundation on or anything like that and you just are looking for a powder to put on to just even your skin tone or add just a touch of coverage and make your skin look flawless like this powder would be really 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 good inside it just comes with this little sponge i've been using the sponge actually and I think that the sponge with the powder, they work really well together. Probably just keep this clean and wash it every so often. I haven't actually tried a powder brush with this yet, but I don't even know if I will because I feel like it performs so well with this soft, you know, material that it's kind of like a very soft sponge and it just works so good. Can I just say that this packaging is absolutely stunning? It is so cool and I remember when my friend sent me a picture of you know what she was using I was like oh I can't get that it's too expensive <laughs> before looking it up thought I was not gonna be able to like you know it was not in my budget I can't you know justify to myself to buy it and I mean that's just how beautiful the packaging looks this is also priced at $14 it's not too bad and definitely worth every penny now I noticed with the powder that I did not see any cakiness at all with the powder like it went on really smooth all over my face it I actually have really no complaints even though I still do get oily throughout the day like probably after four hours which is pretty typical for me when I'm wearing like an oil control type product I did notice that you know I, I had to blot you know and that's fine it's not something that really takes me away from from these products because again for my oily skin like that's pretty common for me so if you have dry skin I really don't think that this will cling to your patches um, just make sure that you moisturize make sure you're using your primers to help with you know your hydration your moisturization levels and you should be good to go the last thing that I'm going to talk about is the lipstick. Now, this is a really, really cool lipstick. The packaging, again, is super, super cool. Reminds me of the old-fashioned lipsticks, the style. Super glam. Very, very classy packaging. I picked up the color 02 Bridget. It's a nude with like a more of a undertone of a pink, kind of a muted pink, and I, it's just so beautiful like it's so complimentary to a lot of looks and I had been looking for a color like this for a very long time and I could never really find something that looked good on my skin tone and so yeah I'm extremely happy about this I noticed that it feels very weightless on my lips it reminds me honestly of the formulas of MAC lipsticks where like when I first put it on it kind of like settled a little bit in my crevices of my lips but then I feel like after a, f a minute or so it just kind of smooths over and then it's not you can't really notice it it just looks really really nice and it feels really good on the lips so it has that same kind of concept and wearability that MAC lipsticks do and that really surprised me. I think that that's really cool. And then the last thing I want to say about the lipstick is I noticed that it wears off beautifully. I watched it when I was at work one day and I was just, you know, I went to lunch and I was drinking and all that kind of stuff and it wore off really, really nicely. At least this color did. I'm not sure about the, you know, like the brighter tones or the darker tones, um, but this nude one definitely wore off really, really nicely. Something that's very, very important to know is that the director of this company, Eva Mendez, works with PETA a lot. She's very passionate about animal cruelty. So basically, Circa is a cruelty-free product line, and I just want to make that known because it's really nice to see a lot of companies now coming out and being completely cruelty-free. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Please like and comment if you have any questions or want to make any comments on it, or if you've tried this product brand and you have recommendations for me to try, please let me know. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and keep in touch, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!